uh, I started this thing it looks awesome um, it's cold and I'm sitting right next to it but I think I'm gonna make some stew on this thing next to me while sitting here and I'm gonna use my big knife for that Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we're going to try something else. I watched videos, um, Second Chance George, a guy from Zimbabwe that's now living in Michigan. Anyway, um, and he bought that Rough Rider Scrimshaw set. Now, I'll do, if you can get that stuff to South Africa, I'm sure everybody would buy that. But anyway, until then, I decided instead of attacking one of my um, smooth white bone knives, I'm going to take this piece of soup bone slash dog bone um, that I had left over from my burnt bone thing from last time. I'm going to make one of those uh, worry stones again, but I'm going to scrimshaw it. Okay, so first thing, we have to get this thing into that. Then secondly, or actually firstly, I'm going to take this. Sorry, this is from my nail stub. Um, a stainless steel nail. And I'm going to make this into one of the stylists or... Well, that's the name I'm going to go for. Um, oh, I actually have a thing there. Uh, what do you call that? A freckle. Okay, I thought that was dirt. But okay, apparently I have a freckle on my hand. Oh, apparently I have more than one freckle on my hand. Apparently I have freckly hands. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this thing, sharpen it. I don't know how sharp it needs to be, but I'm going to sharpen it. I'm going to put a handle on this thing. I'm going to make this thing into a... If you've seen that video of mine where I took the giraffe bone, I don't want to take any more giraffe bone because I actually want to save that to make knife scales at some stage. I don't know when, but sometime. And then hopefully this channel lasts for a few... Well, actually, regardless of you guys, this channel will be going for years and years and years because I have nothing else to do when I... I'm not working. Anyway, so I'm going to make this thing into like a flat piece um, and round it and whatever. So it's going to look like a whatever. I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to make my stylist and then I'm going to draw things on here. And then I'm going to, I don't have Indian ink, so I'm going to use normal ink, put it on there and then sand it down. Blah, blah. Just follow along and see whatever I come up with today. And if it sucks, you will most likely not see this video. I'm kidding. You will still see it. I will show you anyway. Sorry. Okay, my hole is too big for the pot I'm going to use. So I'm putting this thing. It's actually like a cake stand upside down on it. And then I'm putting on my pot. In here I have like four or five potatoes, a few tomatoes and a few um, onions. And I just carved them up with my, whatchamacallit, with my big slip joint. I'm adding water until it's about level. Not Yes, there we go. That's enough. Now I'm going to... Put on my lid. Just let this stuff boil for a few hours. Okay, so this is what this setup looks like now. Now we're just going to let it boil for as long as it takes to make soup. I'll add some things for flavor later. A fantastic house to shoot it in because the house was a character in the film because 90% of... Okay, so let's see what this looks like now. We have our tomatoes and onions at the top, potatoes at the bottom. I'm just going to keep boiling this until this becomes soup. Then I'll add like stock cubes and things. Maybe meat, but I don't think so. To make a nice soup. But this has been going for like, I don't know, 40 minutes, hour. I'm just going to keep this going for the rest of the day because it's keeping me warm. Okay, so let's open this thing. 
it looks deliciously delicious and then i'm gonna take some of this stuff old el paso taco seasoning now let me just see if i can do this one-handed okay i'm chucking the whole thing in there and then we're gonna stir it Potatoes, onions, tomatoes, all the El Paso. Oh, it already smells so good. I just need to stir it for a bit. And then I'm going to let this stuff continue to boil until everything is mush. And I think that would make a good soup. Okay, um, let's see, ah, sorry, behind the camera, I started sawing this thing, apparently that's not enough, let's saw it till the end. Okay, and it's off, let's go make a handle for this thing. Okay, my kids are jumping on the trampoline, so sorry for that, I have this thing that I'm going to use for a handle, this is a steel, yeah, a steel nail. I'm gonna sharpen the end. I don't know how sharp it needs to be for scrim showing. And then this is the side I sawed off. So I'm going to round the end, drill a, well, round both those ends, drill a hole in this thing. I already added the drill to the correct side. And then I'm gonna epoxy these into each other and then see what happens next okay this is getting extremely hot and i am crying on the inside because i just did out that side but yes that looks sharp enough okay let's Glue these things together. That's enough glue, I think, of one type. And now we take green, which is the other yummy part that gets with pink. Okay, so that's what that is going to look like. I'm going to wipe off the front, take that stick my ear to my head and then yeah we will do the bone okay now let's go grind this thing to see if we can make a flat thing with a hole like the giraffe bone worry stones i made last time and then we're gonna scrimshaw it i think that's the correct word for bone Old whalers used to do it. What? Okay, so before I die of inhalation, this is what this thing looks like now. I'm going to use that thing to just smooth everything and then we will scrimshaw one side. I'll drill all before I scrimshaw. <laughs> Okay, we drilled a hole, now we need to scrimshaw something on it. Hey, this stuff is still boiling. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Let's go continue. Okay, so this is what this thing looks like. Yes, the hole is drilled skew and the back part broke out a bit, but I did buff it on that 3M wheel of mine, so it's nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm going to scrimshaw something over here. As soon as that other thing of mine, my stylist or whatever scriber scribe is um, dry. 
And then I don't have Indian ink, so I'm going to use, because I heard that's what you need to scrimshaw Indian ink or Chinese ink. Now, this is a MaxFlow permanent marker made in China. Chinese enough. Okay, so here I have my stylist. No, whatever. Anyway, so this thing, um, me being <laughs> an artist and a professional YouTuber, I'm going to use that term as lightly as possible, um, I'm not going to plan anything. I'm just going to scribe things. I can't actually even see what I'm doing because I'm not wearing my spectacles. Can you see that? I can also not. Anyway, I'm going to just scribe things on here. Oh, good gosh. This is going to be so wrong. That's way too small. Actually, they say you should only go over it once. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this until I put ink in it. I'll show you then. Okay, this is what this thing looks like now. So I'm going to rub it the steel wool and see what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so on this side... Can you focus? Okay, it doesn't really look like my little cross-eyed guy with a straight mouth because I did it too many times and all the imperfections in the bone picked it up, but I'll still take it. And on this side, hey, we actually got this stuff we do. Okay, so I'm going to attach this to something. So all of you... I call this a success. All of you stay safe, happy, have a good one. Goodbye. The next day. Okay, depending on how far you got yesterday, um, well, it's a new day. Um, it's Sunday morning, and I decided to redo some of this. Okay, so this thing, I went and I sanded it again on the belt grinder do you see the chip at the top is now almost out the thing is a bit thinner and this side's also flat okay because i decided i'm gonna change a few things this thing is gone okay i'm gonna use this normal scribey scribe thing it's a made in england whatever thingy key it looks like something from a dentist office but it's actually just a scribe thingy key I'm going to use that, okay, maybe the hardened tip will give me more precision, I have a new piece of that stuff, and then I have these things, okay, and they are stuff that my kids, um, that my kids used, like, yeah, little stencily things, so I'll see if this thing can fit through here, otherwise we are, ah, we're skipping the stuff we do part, okay, but let's see. Okay, so I want to find the center on that thing, kind of. Just kind of. Okay, so that side, we are going to make our little face. So I take that thing. It looks like it's the center. Now let's see. see that barely but we can kind of see it okay then let me just see if i can get more light over here yes okay so we have kind of a circle then without getting in my own light okay it's not really center but now i'll pretend it's supposed to look like that okay we're gonna make our little Cross eyes. Okay. 
Okay, so let's see if we rub it off what happens. Okay, we can kind of see that little guy there. See this side. see the stuff we do there okay I'm gonna go over that thing a bit more and this side and then I'll polish it up and show you what it looks like at the end okay so this is what this thing looks like now I'm putting on a drop of mineral oil uh, it might have been a bit more than a drop but it's fine and I just rubbed all the sides and everything with the steel wool just to get black stuff in every little crevice so this is what this thing looks like now okay i'm gonna call this let me just put a little lanyard on it and then we'll wrap up this video okay there we go scrimshaw done fantastic i know it doesn't look that fantastic but i am done with scrimshawing things now okay let's put a little thong onto this thing Ta -da! there we go oh i can feel my worries run away as i'm doing this it's nice and smooth and i'm done now stuff we do with a little cross and our little dead face okay and i quite like that the black stuff went into the cracks and imperfections of the bone that's quite nice best soup bone i have ever had okay um i'm gonna bry again if you still want to <laughs> watch me do random things okay some beautiful namibian artwood um what's this stuff charcoal not briquettes today so we are going to bry fake pork ribs Okay, we have two of these things, um, Bry and Bragg. That looks wonderful. Not very expensive. Pork rib burgers. Okay, let's bry this. Okay, I have these bad boys on the fire. It looks delicious. And I'm using this marvelous thing again today. I love this thing. I think I'm going to make a short about it now again. It's the Warrior in D2 button lock extra, whatchamacallit, lock look at the grind on that thing hollow at the bottom nice secure tip nice swedging everywhere this thing is definitely one of my favorite pickled steels reverse flake button thumb stud magicalness and these things also do not look too bad okay this stuff is so deliciously awesome they are falling apart and then pieces pieces of it is falling into my mouth mm, on a burger or on a bun this should be delicious uh, just chilling with each other in the sun what a wonderful Sunday okay the last few stragglers are coming off now and then it's eating time okay if you have made it till the end of this video you are too good for me um thank you very much have a fantastic week. Um, if you only see this in the week, enjoy the rest of your week. All of you stay safe, happy. Have a good one. Goodbye.